hello welcome to Izzy Tarot thank you for coming to my channel you could have been anywhere but you came to my channel for that I'm extremely grateful thank you so much I am going to do a Capricorn love prediction reading for July 25th to July 31st please keep in mind this is a general read if it's not your story it's not your story don't try to make it your story just take what you can from it and leave the rest in addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, stubborn, kind, sweet, loving Capricorns, show me what's going on my loyal sweet loving capricorns show me spirit guys what's going on my capricorns let's see caps what you got going on let's see nine of pentacles six of pentacles nine of coins or six of coins as they call it but the same as the pentacles Page of Pentacles. King of Wands. And Queen of Pentacles. Well, you got the Nine of Pentacles leading your reading. And Nine of Pentacles is all about you, Cap. All about you enjoying life by yourself. Being single, independent, doing your own thing. But there's someone I see here and I feel, and I'm just, I'm just going to show you, there's this Six of Pentacles that's here. Six of Pentacles is someone that wants to have a relationship with you or they want, this is someone that's in your love space. And the Six of Pentacles is saying that they want a give and take relationship. They want a generous, a kind relationship with you. But you know, you're not even paying attention to them really. And they, I think they understand that. Um, this is a person... I don't know. This is a this is someone in your love space that wants to have a generous and a kind and a sweet and a give and take relationship with you. But I don't know because you're looking the other way. It's almost like they feel like you're not paying attention to them because this nine of pentacles is, is about independence, having your own money, your own um, thoughts, your own thought patterns. You know what you want to do, being single, enjoying life your way, doing things your way. But here's the Six of Pentacles that's right next to it because this is someone in your love space that's looking at you and wants to have... See see the woman that's offering the pentacle, offering that to the other lady? What they want, this is someone that wants to form a union or relationship with you, wants to build a relationship with you, wants to give and take. This is someone that wants that with you. But in the middle of the reading, I have a page of pentacles. Now, the page of pentacles can be someone that's... The, that's younger, uh, but they can be faithful. Um, they are someone that um, can be there for you. Um, but you have to figure it out if you want them to be there for you. You have to open up to let them be there for you. Because you're used to doing things. I see that if you're not a picture that's leading your reading, you're used to doing things on your own and being your own person. But they want to be loyal and faithful and be there for you. That page of pentacles, that they are very loyal and faithful person. But here's what's interesting. I see a king of wands. King of wands to me is always about my husband card. It's a, it's a husband card. Someone wants to uh, possibly move into or someone looks at you as a wifey maybe or someone that looks wants to be your husband. Because see, they can the page of pentacles in the middle of your reading, they want you to know they can be faithful to you. They can be there for you and be there with you. King of Wands, um, someone that can be very faithful and someone that wants to be your husband. Sees you as a wife opportunity because here you're next to that King of Wands is a, and a Queen of Pentacles. This is a King of Wands and someone that's all about doing things as well. But then you have the Queen of Pentacles that's there. This is a relationship with someone that um, is a leader, wants to, wants to lead, is a leader. And here you are, the Queen of Pentacles, which is um, a person that knows how to make their own money, knows how to do their own thing, someone that is very well respected in the community. People know them. They can take care of the home. They can help that King of Wands if they have a business. They are very, they can be the CEO of their own company. 
This is someone that's that's that type of person for you. Some type of that is, this is someone this is someone, excuse me, that looks at you as that type of person because you are that type of person. Um, so let's see. If this is your read, it's a very interesting read. Let me see what's going to happen here. Are you going to acquiesce? Are you going to um, end up being in a relationship with someone that is kind and generous and faithful, wants to be your husband? Let's see. Show me. If this is your read, give me three to five minutes. That's all. Just sit back, relax. Please listen to the entire read so you can get the um, total story. So the spirit guides can give you the total story. If you can, just listen to the entire read. Give me three to five minutes. I am going to tell you what the spirit guides want you to know. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Show me spirit guides. Why is the nine of pentacles here for my Capricorns? Show me spirit guides. Oh, I have a king of cups. This is someone that is full of emotion. But, you, you know, they know they can't show you too much because, I don't know, it's almost like they're afraid to do that because you are so independent. But this is someone that has a lot of emotions for you. I mean, but they but they come across to you as being emotionally unavailable, so you just keep doing what you do. They, you, they come across to you as not wanting to be with you, so you just keep doing what you do. But this person has utmost emotion all i feel is a lot of emotions a lot of love for you this is someone that has a lot of love but they don't show it they don't want you to know that wow so here's the six of pentacles show me why the six of coins or the six of pentacles is here oh i've got the two of swords yeah this is somehow you've gotten your with this person who has a lot of love and emotions for you there's a stalemate that's going on there because I think that they're you're stuck in this in they're stuck in this energy you're stuck in this energy too, because you're not really willing to look at them because you feel like that they're not really looking at you as a partner as well. It's almost like an energy that's going back and forth, but it's stuck. But yet you still want the same things because here six of pentacles means you you both want the same things. You want a give and take relationship. You want a relationship that's generous, that's kind, that's loving. You want a relationship, but yet you're stuck. You're stuck. It's like you're at a stalemate. It's like a standoff right now. Let's see why the Page of Pentacles is here. Show me why the Page of Pentacles is here, Spirit Guides. Oh, boy, I got the Eight of Cups. I got the Eight of Cups. So someone's walking away. It's either you, the, you or them. That you're walking away from this situation. You're leaving this situation. Because the page of pentacles tells me that this is a loyal, faithful person. But yet and still, they somehow feel like you don't want to be with them. They feel like they're wasting their time. They feel like they're wasting their time. Let's see. Because that nine of pentacles is leading to read. Because you guys both want the same things. But somehow the communication is not there that you, that you understand it. It's, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But this is a relationship that it could be a good relationship. But there's the communication is not there. So let's see why the King of Wands is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the King of Wands here? Oh, I see the King of Swords. Mm -hmm. This relationship from the King of Cups that has so much emotion for you um, to the King of Swords. <laughs> This person loves you. This person wants to be with you. This person sees you as their ultimate, their wifey. But they're, they're afraid to show it to you because you have not shown them. But they don't understand that you want the same thing. You want the same thing. And they're ready to walk because here's this king of wands and a king of swords both. King of wands was ready to be is a husband um, card for me. It's a husband but they yet they're in their head rather than their heart. In the beginning here, this king, because this is the same person. They have all these different things all locked up inside of them. But they really want to be with you and they're stuck in the emotion, but they're afraid. They're insecure and afraid with you. Because you're not showing that you want the same things, but you really do. So let's see why the queen of, of pentacles is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Show me spirit guides. Got the three of cups. Okay, you guys are going to get it together. You guys are going to get it together. There's going to be a celebration here. Yeah, I think this, yeah, you're going to get it together. You're going to get it together. There's going to be a celebration. This queen of pentacles is, is whom this person 
um, wants, they want you, Cap. They do. They really, really do want you, Capricorn. Like at the very beginning, here you are, the Nine of Pentacles, doing your own thing, single, living, loving it, enjoying life, got your own money, your own mindset, your own thoughts. But here's a King of Cups here that's just, is caught up in emotion when it comes to you. They come across as being emotionally unavailable, but they really aren't. They really love you. They are caught up. But they are afraid because they see how you are single here. They're afraid to show you that. Here's the Six of Pentacles here because you guys both want the same type of relationship. But neither one of you guys are showing that because here's the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is, is been having a stalemate because guess why? You guys are not communicating how you really feel, how you really want. You have to show people. You, you, you have to communicate. Six of Pentacles, you want a very kind, giving, loving, give and take relationship. And so do they. But they're afraid because you come across as being, um, I think you both come across as being unavailable. You come across as being available as being independent. They come across as being emotionally unavailable. That's why you don't look at them like that. Here's a page of pentacles. It's the loyal, faithful person. This is what this person's trying to show you. But they're beginning to walk away from you. They're going to walk away here. But here, they want to be your husband. They do. They look at you as a possible wifey. They want to be a husband to you. And here's the king of swords, though. They come from their head rather than their heart. This communication. This is an air sign. This is someone, Gemini, Libra, um, Aquarius. This is an air sign. Someone that is not giving you, um, it's not, you, you can't read their minds. And for some reason, they want you very badly, but they can't get out of their emotions here. And here they are stuck in their mentality. So it's a, they're, it's a balance. It's something that's going on in their head when it comes to you. Something is going on, but they know they want you because here's this king of wands. And they say they're going to walk away, but instead here they are wishing for, to be your husband. <laughs> but guess what? You are the queen of pentacles to them. They love you. You give them everything they need and they want. You can be the CEO. You can help them with their business. You can, If you marry them, you can take care of their children. All of the above. They see all that when it comes to you. And then the Three of Cups means this is going to be a celebration. You guys are going to get it together. That's what I see. You're going to get it together with them. Yes, you are. You guys are end up going to end up together. So let's see. What do my um, angel oracles have to say to you about this? What do my angel or oracles have to say? Well, they say honesty and communication. And that's what you're missing, Capricorn. If you guys get it together, this can be a heck of a relationship because you guys mesh well together. You guys want the same things, but you're just not communicating them. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Capricorn.